Good morning. Today is October 8, 2022. And as you can see from the diagram, there's a path to promotion, promotion steps, so to speak, for the, this pawn to go into promotion to the here. So, really interesting game today. But let's go to puzzles. I have four puzzles today. And I am playing black, and this is the first one. What has just uh, moved the pawn to c5? That's a capture, by the way. What should I do? Next one. What has just moved to b7? What should I do? Next one. What has just moved to e5? What should I do? Next one. The king has just moved to c1. What should I do? All right, so this is uh, the beginning and it basically follows my usual opening steps here, which is modern defense, other variations. And that's pretty much uh, how I like to do it, like right here. That's the structure, that's how, how I usually do it. So anyway, next move. So as you can see what is carving out space on the queen side. And if you remember, this is the pawn that's going to go to promotion. Next move. So I'm putting a lot of tensions here, over here, put, put a whole bunch of tension. There's not a secondary tension, then that's this, this file over here. So the A file can be, once this is open, the A file can be very dicey. Right now, uh, the queen is protecting, the white queen is protecting the rook, but I'm not protecting my rook, so that's a cause of concern. Next move. What chooses to castle? <coughs> and this is the first puzzle. Basically, one white has just captured the pawn at c5 and there's a few considerations here. The first one is that the queen over here can go here. This bishop is unprotected. Uh, the knight may, may be making attacking here but otherwise it's hemmed in so again the rook, uh, I mean the bishop here is pretty much useless. So. I want to activate my pieces, and this is what I did. Right here. So, white kind of failed to see the danger. It's not really dangerous because the evaluation is still uh, zero, point four, so it's equal. But it's something to be concerned about. This is uh, an unnecessarily complication, uh, unnecessary complication basically. I'm trying to mix things up. And yes, very, very reckless over here. But it works out okay. 
So this is a trick that Bud has foreseen before exchanging the rook. And as you can see, the pawn has just moved over there. So just need to make one step forward there and it will be done right. So this is the puzzle, second puzzle over here. And the thing is, the pawn is unguarded. So this square is guarded by this knight. So I need to take this pawn out. Obviously the knight here cannot move away. So that's really one way to do it and that's the knight goes here. And that's about it. And interestingly enough, if uh, bishop goes here and that goes capture the bishop, the pawn would have been prom pawn would have been able to be promoted over there. So over here, and I have advantage. Since I'm at advantage, may as well take it. Now, I got bishop, knights, uh, against bishop and knight. Now you look at the number of pawns. What has five pawns and I have six pawns. Six pawns. So, so, so this is going to be my key to winning. So next move. That's a mistake over there, you can tell immediately by the evaluation there. That's a mistake right there. I probably could have uh, put this as a puzzle, I think, but it's the next steps over here that I want you to see over here. Right here. And this one. Because the bishop is checking out this square, so the pawn cannot move forward. Next move, and the net just push forward. And of course, this is a relatively secure thing, except it's not really secure because I could have just pushed the pawn over here. This is puzzle number three over here. What should I do? Remember that White Bishop is checking up this square, so what I did was challenge the bishop. And text that, text that, and yep, suddenly the advantage becomes solid. And I'm starting to do attacking over here. And the knight has to go back. Oh, the king forward. And this is to prepare for the taking up over here. So pawn goes here, pawn stacks pawn. Takes pawn. And the knight cannot do anything. Because otherwise, you know, I'll just take it. So, so that's one thing to worry about. Anyway, puzzle number four. The king has just moved to c1. What should I do? As you know, the knight is master of four. So, check, and this pawn is free. Next move, take the pawn. Next move, take another pawn. And at this point, what resign and the evaluation as you can see is minus eight pretty much uh, deadly to white over here i can go here and then go here and that's protected and this three points over here can just take care of that one point over there so so this point can be taken care of by that pawn over there. And there's no way what can win, basically. So, 
Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.